Well, it's been an incredibly busy last few weeks. We've done thousands of miles, to be honest, over the last two or three months. What with trips to France and obviously qualifying for the Feeder Masters final meant a trip to Tamar Lakes which uh, the first time we went there it took us eight hours to get there and just under six hours to get home so we've been spending a lot of time in the van. I'm at Lindholm Lakes today it's a beautiful sunny day it's really nice it's mid middle of September we've just had a fantastic breakfast and um, that was really nice just seen one or two of the lads in there which is always nice to see them and we've come over we're actually over on the far side of Benny's Lake today I've got a little bit of filming to do but I thought I'd be giving you a catch up as well on what's been happening. The last time I was here I actually fished on the next lake down which is Loco which I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with. I was actually coaching Chris Buckley. Um, he had a fantastic day, he caught some fish on the bomb and we also switched to the pellet waggler as well. Um, that lake is full of fish as you can imagine but it's quite deep you know it's a good 10 feet deep might even be 12 feet deep in areas and that can lend all sorts, you know, lend itself to all sorts of issues when, you know, the fish are up in the water, they're not on the bottom. So we had to do a little bit of searching around, but he did a fantastic job. He ended up with, you know, I don't know how many fish he ended up with, but he caught some big F1s and some proper carp as well. Um, and I was out coaching yesterday, I was out at JCB Lakes with Dave. That was a, a venue I've only ever been there once before, and that was in a Feeder Masters qualifier. Uh, earlier on this year, that's the first time I've seen that venue and it fished absolutely fantastic. Again, Dave fished the same sort of tactics. He started on a method feeder whilst pinging pellets, eight mil pellets, um, and then after that, after he's caught on the method feeder, he's worked one or two things out, caught some really big fish up to 20 pounds, and then he's gone onto his pinging line and he's alternated between bomb and pellet waggler, and he's ended up having a fantastic day. He actually stopped on for about an hour after the session because he didn't want to pack up and go home, and he continued catching. So that was great to see, you know, a, a lake like that. JCB Lakes is a, is, is a, a stunning looking lake, really, um, but it is a member's water and the only chance I get to go there is really in qualifiers and stuff so it was great to see it fishing so well. I've actually added more dates onto the website for coaching days which take us up to the end of December so if anybody's interested in learning more about my one-to-one -one coaching days then head on over to the website below and there are some dates on there there is some availability leading up to the end of December. Well I am actually fishing today, um, I'm going to be fishing just with a method feeder and an open style method feeder to start with, just a free running rig, complies with fishery rules and you know you can't get much simpler than that really. I've been getting quite a few questions about um, the, the, the tattle that I've been using recently, you know, up until probably the last year I've kind of used the same three rods for most of the um, venues that I fished I, you know I, I love the slim as you probably know the matrix slim I then used to use the XC class all the time for my, my mid-range fishing whether that be carp fishing or bream fishing as well and then my long range fishing it was all about the horizon XD and and that was it those three rods kind of covered everything however over the last year probably 18 months matrix have brought a very large range of rods out um, and it even I find it difficult sometimes to keep track of them all. Um, so I have inevitably started using one or two other rods in my armory that I use going around different venues and I've, lot, I've had lots of questions about them, about my selection of rods. Now obviously these are all matrix rods, but lots of people are asking me why I use certain rods for certain occasions. And to be quite honest with you, I'm using the Slim, the new version of the Slim. I still use that for my roach, skimmer fishing, bream fishing, at, at relatively short range. I use the 11 foot rod and that covers everything for me. So I'm quite happy using the 11 foot for all that sort of fishing. However, my commercial fishing, I'm using the, the, um, the feeder version of the commercial um, commercial Horizon Pro alright that's one of the questions I've been getting asked a lot about why I'm using the feeder basically there is a bomb version of this rod the bomb version of this rod is a beautiful rod don't get me wrong it's just a, it hasn't got quite as much backbone as the feeder version so instead of me carrying uh, a bomb version for small to you know relatively medium sized fish f1 fishing that sort of thing and then having this for bigger fish because it's got a bit more backbone i i'd like to keep things as simple as possible you know i always have done and you know and that's just the way that i prefer 
to 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 manage my fishing where if, if I've got a rod that can do lots and lots of different things then that's basically what I do so for all my silverfish fishing short range it's still the slim I love the slim and then for um, for my commercial fishing method feeder fishing up to mid range with a method feeder or if I'm after carp or anything like that I use the commercial feeder just because it's got that extra bit of backbone so I just hope that sheds a little bit of light on those um, for those people that were asking why I'm using the rods that I'm using I'm going to kick off with the open style method feeder and I'm just going to be underarming it this lake is absolutely stuffed with F1s but like I say I'm here to do quite a bit of some other work as well so it would be rude not to at least get a rod out there at some stage just to see what we can catch I'm using the ready tied uh, the matrix ready tied hook lens and I'm just going to kick off with a band uh, these are uh, MXC3 hooks size 12 which sounds might sound a bit big but it just looks about right I'm going to kick off with uh, just a banded pellet a 6mm banded pellet with fishery micros in the feeder just going to underarm it and uh, I'm sure I'm sure we're going to catch quite a few I think that's on. <laughs> that didn't take too long. That's first cast. Um, been in about five minutes. But uh, when you're fishing at such short range, especially with a method, that's why you've got to set your drag, really. So fast. Oh, it's a big F1. Go. Just looked in the corner of its mouth. Ouch. Just got me then. How about that? Great start. Well, I was fortunate enough to finally get along to Tamar Lakes to fish a four day festival there. I am back down there in a couple of days time for the Feeder Masters final. And as you'd expect, I will be doing some filming for you. On my return from that Feeder Masters final, regardless of the result, where hopefully we're going to be catching plenty of fish, I have actually started putting together a Tamar experience video for you, for YouTube. So I will be sharing with you what, you know, what such a fantastic venue and experience it is to go down there and fish a venue like that and certainly what it'll be like competing in that Feeder Masters final. So that will be getting uploaded to this channel before the end of September. And just seven days after that final, I'm then competing in the Feeder King final, which is at Southfield Reservoir. That is a competition that's been incredibly popular again this year. There's a £10,000 first prize and I will be uploading a video for you about that event and just kind of getting you a little bit more involved with my preparation, my pre-match thoughts and I'll obviously be letting you know how I got along in that. So if you're a fan of match fishing then there's certainly plenty coming onto this channel over the next couple of weeks. And finally, I just want to say a huge thank you to the hundreds of people who have downloaded and enrolled on our fishing courses. There are four courses currently available on the website. So if you want to fast track your feeder fishing in particular, then there might be a course there that's going to suit you. There are beginners courses right the way through to advanced courses. And on the back of the success of those, I have just announced the fifth course in the series. Now that is a course that will be released in October but you can pre-order the course now and save yourself a little bit of money. 
The course revolves around winter fishing on commercials and that is really going to cover bomb fishing through winter, method feeder fishing, waggler fishing. There is also a section there on fishing with the maggot feeder which is something that's so important in winter on certain venues, certainly if you're just fishing for bites and targeting silverfish as well. And I've also got a section there which is devoted to fishing with the PVA bag and the different sorts of ways that you can actually use that through the colder winter months. So if you want to fast track your learning as regards fishing through winter then that is a 40 video course that is currently now available for pre-order before it's launched on the 15th of October. So it's been a very very busy month we've had a fantastic day here today we've caught loads of fish and I just want to say thank you to everybody who's been following us over the last few weeks through this very busy period. So if you don't want to miss out on all those fresh uploads, there is going to be a big increase in videos on this channel. So if you don't want to miss out on those, don't forget to hit subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you in a couple of days time for the next upload. Have a great weekend and I look forward to seeing you next week.